Yesterday, the one stock that actually held out in the, gre in the green in a crashing market was Piramal Healthcare. Swati Piramal of uh, the company joins in to talk both about what's been happening with the business. And incidentally, Monday or Sunday is Women's Day. So we're profiling some very special women entrepreneurs. Swati, great to have you on the show. You focus very carefully on the R&D side of the business. And that's something the market has been worried about, whether or not it's getting enough money interest, whether there are growth opportunities. How, how do you see the road ahead for the R&D side? of business? I think uh, Indian R&D is very strong. I am very proud of my young scientists. Actually a third of them are women so we are especially celebrating some of the patents that they have filed and some of the most uh, staggering I think research that they have done. And these are in areas which are really important for India like diabetes, like cancer, like metabolic disease, like infectious disease. And they're coming up with some really, I think, mind-boggling research. So I'm really proud of my scientists. I think uh, more and more young Indians will actually uh, make world-shattering discoveries. We have to believe in them. Mm. Swati, morning. What's the game plan or the roadmap or the eventual ambition that the group has with its research business? I mean, you sp spoke about the pedigree of the scientists and the team. Do you want to build this up as a big business or is it re looked upon as a feeder into Piramal Healthcare? Or eventually will you have to ally with a large global major to take it to its logical, uh, logical end? Well, uh, you know, R&D, one, it's very risky, and two, it's quite a long-term gestation period. It, that means it takes nearly 10 to 12 years for a new drug to be discovered. Uh, frankly, I think we are one of the leaders in the race to actually launch the first Indian molecule in the next three or four years. And this uh, could be in many different areas. It could be in cancer, it could be in diabetes could be infectious disease, where all our molecules are moving quite well on the, uh, on the regulatory side. In fact, uh, they've just completed phase one and would be ready for phase two approval uh, in many areas. So I think the game plan is very clear. We have said this from the beginning, that we want to be uh, launching a drug discovered in India for the global markets. And our real vision is to reduce the burden of disease and to make a difference to people's lives globally. And if we can do this, we can launch it in India with Indian science, with Indian costs. Uh, frankly, it would make affordable health care not only true for India, it would make it for the rest of the world. And I think that's a game-changing or pa new paradigm, perhaps, uh, in the pharmaceutical arena. In specific, Swati, can you talk a little bit about the oncology molecule, P276, that is uh, seen as your key molecule? Yeah, that's our lead molecule. It is uh, going in trials in three countries, in the U.S., uh, in Europe, and in India. And in all three, we are looking at different kinds of cancers. You know, cancer is actually not one disease. It's many diseases. So... We think it shows great promise in many specialized type of cancers for which today there's no cure. I'd like to mention one head and neck cancer which in India is such a huge problem as you know because of tobacco that it is uh, you know staggering how many thousands of people suffer from it. And if we can find a cure for such a cancer I think it would change many people's lives. So we are looking at a wide, wide variety of cancers. Of course it's a bit early to tell whether it has an impact because we we'll only know about efficacy in phase two. But we, uh, we think that it holds great promise. Hmm. Swati, you and Ajay have spent decades building this pharmaceutical business. Uh, would you at any point consider uh, either selling your stake or getting a large strategic investor into Piramal Healthcare because that's the talk which has been doing the rounds. And those stocks surfaced first when India's largest pharmaceutical company, Ranbaxy, the promoters chose to sell their stakes off after building the business for many decades. Uh, I mean, what are the, what, how do the Piramals approach this business which they have built over the last many years now? You know, we are, uh, we are very passionately fond of uh, our country and our company. Uh, we have spent many years uh, building it. 
and as we have said thrice in to the Bombay Stock Exchange that we have no intention of selling our company that these were rumors which were unfounded and this morning I read the same rumors for another company so uh, that just goes to show that it is like fishing in the water but I think the there's a larger point here that Indian market is growing very well. It is doing well because I, we have a large home market and that is in fact protecting us from this global recession. And the other thing that I think is very important is to get more and more new drugs for India. And therefore both our companies together uh, can achieve that. One is our R&D arm could license it to the Indian company and achieve this big home market potential. So honestly, um, all these are rumors. We have said that uh, officially and publicly. And we have also told our employees that they have nothing to worry about because we strongly believe in them and we believe in our business. There has been one point of view, though, Swati, that for the Indian pharma industry, perhaps the best is behind them. And because of the current global environment we've got, it's tough to go, to go it alone. And you need to tie up either with a global major or basically with someone with deep pockets. As an entrepreneur from the pharma industry, how would you react to those two points? No, certainly. For example, if, uh, for example, I have to sell a diabetes molecule in the future from R&D, we would certainly look for partnerships globally. Uh, in fact, we already have two, one with Lilly and with Mark. And if those, in fact, those compounds are doing quite well in clinical trials, and we would globally go together, sharing some of the markets. So um, obviously, uh, we will look at, we will look at uh, partnerships long term, worldwide, globally, because no company can go it alone whether it is a small Indian company or the, even if it's an international company. And so uh, I think global partnerships are the name of the game. I agree with that. About deep pockets, I have a different view. I think that if you do the R&D in India, we can do it at one-tenth the cost. But we have to believe in ourselves. We have to be able to take risks. We have to change our drug con price control policy to allow us to take those risks. Because if we do achieve what I'm saying, that we can be the medicine maker of the world, then suddenly India will be the most powerful nation in the world in the area of pharmaceuticals. Why don't we believe in ourselves? Why don't we, we think that we can do it? Why don't we believe in Indian science and, and filing new patents where our scientists are, are doing remarkably well? So I, I have a different point of view on that. Mm. Uh now that you've clarified, Swati, that there's no question of the promoters selling their stake, do you see any benefits or percentage in uh, getting a strategic equity tie-up with any global major? Would it serve any of the ambitions that you have at the Piramal Group? Well, that's why we've divided our, our company into two. And, and you know, R&D is, uh, is one, one half of the business and the other two are CRAMS and uh, the, the domestic market. Uh, Piramal Healthcare, I think the last quarter did remarkably well, uh, even though there is a global recession. And that is because we have uh, the strongest brands in the country. We have, I think, out of the top 20, maybe we have 10 or 12 brands uh, in the top 100, sorry. And these brands have been there for 30, 40 years. And everyone takes them. I'd like to mention a few, Saridon and uh, Fensadil and Supradin. And these, these brands uh, are used by everyone. So the global home market being strong is a big pillar of strength for us. So uh, a strategic investor at this point doesn't make sense to us because we're doing well. In the R&D, I think we will wait till we uh, get phase two and phase three uh, approvals for our molecules before we seek strategic partnerships. You have seen what happened to other Indian companies where the molecules were retur returned by their partners and we don't want to do that. We want the molecules to be actually mature, to have strong efficacy and then show the market and show the world what we have achieved. Swati, we really appreciate you taking the time out for us this morning and happy Women's Day in advance to you and your team. Thank you Thank for you. Uh, <coughs> joining us today.